In this video, I'm going to show you how to, as an admin, you can get access to an overview of the repository size for each repository in a workspace directly in Bitbucket Cloud, and how you, as a regular user, can see the size of a repository directly in the repository overview page. What you'll see in this video is possible thanks to an app built using Forge, the Atlassian developer platform. The link to the source code of the app, with the instructions on how to install it, is available in the description of this video. Let me show you how the app works. From the Bitbucket UI, in the workspace settings, the app added a menu item called Repository Size. We can see it here. And when I click on it, I can see a page with the overview of the size of each repository. The information is presented in a table format so that, if you want, you can sort it by any columns, for example, by size. I'm showing just a few information about the repositories in this app, but we could be adding any other information that is available via the Bitbucket REST APIs. The app calls this API, and as you can see, there are other information that are returned by this API. So for example, you could be creating a similar table to display the, the name of the main branch for each repository, or the default merge strategy. And I would love to know which other information you would like to be displayed on this page and any reporting needs you have for Bitbucket. Please let me know in the comments of this video and I'll get back to you with another app and video. Going back to our overview page, we can see that there is also an option to download this as a CSV file. Let me do it. And here is our generated file. The name column is a link to the repository main overview page, where we can see the size information also being added by the app. This information is usually not available to regular Bitbucket users, as it is only shown in the repository settings, which can be accessed only by the repository admins. This is the manifest for this Forge app, and there are two modules, one for the workspace settings menu page, and one for the repository overview card. If you would like to only show one or the other in your workspace, you can simply remove the module after cloning the repository. To give you an idea of how the app works, let's have a look at this file, which is where the app is interacting with the Bitbucket REST API to retrieve the size of the repository. We can see that the app is called in the repositories API, this one, with the workspace ID, which is retrieved from the request context. Because the response of the REST API is paginated, this function is called recursively when the data.next is true in the previous request. I hope you found this video and app useful, and check the link in the description of this video to get the app and add it to your workspace. This is just an example of what reports can be added directly in Bitbucket, and I would love to hear your suggestions, ideas, and requirements in the comments. Bye!